Leaders of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, member states, are expected to hold a summit in Djibouti on Monday. The East African bloc leaders will discuss matters relating to peace, security and development. The 14th Ordinary Session of the EGAD Assembly of Heads of State and Government is expected to produce a joint communique outlining the outcomes of the discussions and the way forward for the region. The meeting comes at a time when the Horn of Africa region is experiencing security threats, political and ethnic conflicts, as well as drought. Mohamed Kahir is in Mogadishu following up the events in Djibouti. His life for us now from Mogadishu. So, Mohamed, this EGAT summit is underway in Djibouti. What's on the agenda of this summit? Well, Penina, the 14th uh, ordinary session of the EGAT heads of states and government has just kicked off in Djibouti. We have seen uh, members of the eight countries uh, all present, uh, most notably Eritrea, welcomed back to the summit after 15 years of absence. Uh, we have seen President Ruto of Kenya, the host president, uh, uh, Osmail Margelia, president of, uh, of, 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 of Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, and of course the vice president of uh, Sudan, Malik uh, Agar, who is the chair of IGAD now uh, attending. Uh, well, there is a lot of uh, agendas being discussed, but the most uh, most important thing here, according to the chair or according to the secretary general of IGAD, Gabeo uh, Wagokenu, he says that uh, in his address he, he mentioned about the peace and security efforts uh, in the region since uh, the last meeting of, of IGAD heads of state was held in 2019. He has welcomed and applauded various uh, peace efforts that was uh, uh, maintained across uh, the region, starting with the issues of Tigray, uh, which was peaceably resolved by Ethiopian government with the help of IGAD, and also the peaceful, uh, democratic and transition of, of power and elections, especially in Somalia and also in, in Kenya. Uh, so without also mentioning the, 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 the challenges that has the, the, the region of IGAD has faced, uh, starting with the with the drought uh, and issues of also of course peaceful interclan conflicts and and, and and other challenges I mentioned from coming from climate change. So the meeting is currently ongoing. Uh, so far, we, the speeches by the leaders uh, coming from the African Union Chair um, uh, Musa Faki, uh, the chair of the IGAD himself, the vice president of the Transitional Council, Sovereign Council of of, of, of IGAD uh, uh, Malik Agar, and also. Uh, uh, IGAD uh, Secretary General all stressing uh, that uh, they need to be peaceful resolution of the of ongoing conflict in Sudan. Right. So, so let's talk about Sudan, Mohammed. Um, already dominating discussions there at the summit. What steps is IGAD likely to take? Well, uh, according to the speech of IGAD Secretary General. Uh, th there will be uh, a high delegation from IGAD which will be dispatched to Sudan to uh, re-engineer the, 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 the discussions uh, towards peaceful resolution of the ongoing conflict between the military leaders of Sudan, uh, General Burhan and also General Hameti. Uh, IGAD says that, uh, that its delegation will be led by President of Djibouti, Smail Omar Gale. Uh, in, in that, in, in that uh, delegation, will be Kenyan President Uhuru Kenya, uh, President uh, Ruto, and also President of a uh, neighboring state of, of South Sudan, Salva Kiir. We have seen that uh, the African Union, Musa Faki, also saying various uh, uh, efforts by the African Union to, 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 uh, to, to restore peace and stability uh, in, in Sudan. So the discussions uh, uh, in, in, in today's Igadis 14 summit uh, has uh, has uh, focused more on what's going on in Sudan. On the other side, the vice president of Sudan, uh, Malik Agar, who is in attending the meeting, has welcomed those proposals, but also one that uh, Sudan's uh, sovereignty and its independence should not be you know, infringed by those uh, uh, calls calling for peaceful resolution of the conflict, which has displaced uh, uh, millions of people from their homes. And so far, 600 people killed in those conflicts.